to my crafty creators how are y'all doing today i am coming to you because i messed up a tray really bad <laughs> i did this uh, a couple of weeks ago and um i'm sorry for all the noise y'all i'm just trying to get my mess together but i did this tray a couple of weeks ago and it was going to be a, a in remembrance tray, okay? And I thought that I was going to be good to go because I did the whole video, y'all. I, I already deleted it, though. But um, I bought this nice heavy-duty um, mold, and I was like, okay, yes, this thing is nice. Matter of fact, I'll show it to you real quick. Let me get over here to it. Okay. This was this was the heavy duty mold I bought. Look. <laughs> Y'all don't tell nobody I did that bad. Okay. It nice heavy duty. I'm not throwing it away because somehow I feel like I can fix it. And a lot of the molds that I got messed up, some of them I threw them away and some of them I just didn't, okay? I didn't throw um, some of the other ones away because I was like, well, you know, I, I'll be able to get it right some kind of way. But like I said, this is going to be in, uh, in memory tray. And you see all of this stuff I got messed up right here? I tried to cut it all out, but it didn't happen. So, I got another way to cover it up, okay? If it still looks bad after I try again, then, you know, um, I'll just have a display, you know, so, so somebody can maybe order one or whatever. But I had used the um, Clear Choice Crafters Epoxy Resin, and I like that resin, but um, on that that particular thing it didn't like me y'all it did not like me but the uh, resin itself is nice but I also have the words that I'm gonna put in here so I'm gonna the uh, this is the picture that I'm gonna use I already took and uh, laminated it so I'm just gonna cut around it so that I can um, put it in the tray and like I said um, this will probably be for display usage only but I'd like to show you all um, how I go about putting um, something like this in the tray okay and so I oh gosh I tried to cut it nicely but it don't look so nicely cut <laughs> oh boy uh, well okay this will work anyway I want this to go on this side right here okay I'm going to put that on this side and I already have my words cut out and everything so I'm going to put that you know kind of right here maybe and since I already have it ready I think what I'll do is just go ahead and um I don't mean to shake y'all. I don't even have my little um squeegee over here with me. I just use my scissors just to uh have the words stuck to the transfer paper. One day I'll show y'all, you know, how I do all of my stuff on my Cricut because um I do have my Cricut machine, I have my embroidery machine, I have my, um, what do you call that thing, the press over there. I have a lot of little stuff, because I like doing stuff. So I, I'm going to take and put this right here. This is where I, I want it. So I'm just going to press that down really hard to make sure that it's uh, stuck nicely 
because when I pour my resin, I want to make sure that I, I don't have no bubbles or anything like that on it, okay? I'm pure sweating. Oh, I, I need to turn my air on, but I haven't turned it on because it's kind of loud and I want to make sure that y'all hear what I'm saying, okay? And I'm gonna put this here. Looks like that's, oh no it's not. It's just the way it looks. One second guys. <coughs> this coal is driving me mad. It is really driving me mad. Um. I saw that I have a prescription waiting for me at the pharmacist. So I'm hoping that it's uh, my medicine for my cold. All right, hold on for a minute and let me get the resin right. Hold on, okay. Do y'all mind talking to me while I um, get my resin stirred up? Um, if not, just fast forward. Um, because I, I like to talk to y'all about some things um, and about some stuff that I got in the mail. Um, I ordered uh, a lot of the uh, Color Obsession paste from ATD. Um, I don't know whether you all heard of them or you have heard of them, but they do some nice I mean, really, really nice work. It's, their their name is Artists Till Death, okay? And trust me, they are artists to death. I'm telling you, they are on it. But um, they uh, they're they are a couple, and I've been watching them for a couple of years. And um, they do a lot of lives. They do things like um. You order from their website and you get to actually do a piece of art with them live. So um, that was that's another great thing that they do. Um, they sell like just resin products. They sell color obsession products, resin art products. They sell um, the cradle boards, uh, gems. Uh, they they have a whole lot on their website. And, you know, they're a really nice couple. Erica and Jeff. We call them E. <laughs> e and J. <laughs> but they're, um, they're really nice people. And I just wanted to give them a shout out. Maybe y'all can check them out and see, you know, whether you like them or not or whatever. But I like them, so I'm pretty sure you'll be interested in you know, what they're doing and how their lives go. Um, they're nice people. They're real nice people. And uh, anyway, I ordered uh, some stuff from them, you know, showing my support, you know, because they're a small, they're a small base company, but they do a lot of work. I mean, their work is not just some like what i'm doing little piece of stuff little, little stuff no 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 their work is not like that their work is you know deserved to go in a gallery but like i said anyway so i i bought a lot of that stuff so i'm gonna be experimenting with some of their paste uh some of the color obsession paste and i think i ordered a just resin paste and uh, what else was it? I think I ordered a uh, geo board, a cradle board, some gems. So I'll be showing you all some of that stuff as I start to make it. But I also ordered um, from Amazon. You know I am the Amazon queen, okay? Just in case y'all don't know. I'm telling you, I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon, okay? Packages get delivered to my house, 
year around probably I'm I'm gonna say I skip a couple of a few days or whatever, but I always got something coming to my house from Amazon. I think I'm addicted and I need to I need shopper Pollock's Anonymous or something. But um I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. I told my husband last year, I told my husband, I told my sisters, I say, look, I got a problem. I told him last year that I had a problem and I couldn't help but to order stuff all the time. I don't like going anywhere. Um, I don't like going out shopping. I just love to get something in the mail. <laughs> I love to get something in the mail. So, yeah, I, I can't help it. But anyway, what I was trying to get to was that I have some glow-in-the-dark uh, mica pigment that I'm going to be adding to do something with. Um, trying to think what I've, I've ordered. Uh, I forgot to tell y'all this. I ordered some... Um, the molds for the checkers so we're going to be doing that coming up um we're going to be doing a geode coming up we're going to be doing um a canvas coming up um what else is it that i wanted to tell y'all i forget y'all i'm telling you I, my brain go 100 miles per hour and when i tell you that I'm all the time thinking of what's next. What can I do next? What's next? What's what? What I'm gonna do now? What I'm gonna do now? I always think about that, y'all. I I promise I do. We're starting with a very little amount, y'all, and this is just so that I can get um my words covered. Um, and and y'all. I'm trying to start doing uh, quicker videos because y'all still won't tell me. Y'all won't tell me whether y'all like for me to do the longer videos and see everything I do or whether y'all prefer me just get it done and, you know, get it on over with because I like to talk to y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> I love talking to y'all. Although y'all don't talk back, you know, I'm I'm trying to prepare for my live. So, um, I hope that y'all are uh trying to prepare with me and that y'all will be joining me in that live because um I don't want to be disappointed, you know. I I feel like that I'll have you know some of my supporters there but at the same time it's like okay is it is am i gonna have a good audience or i'm gonna have like five people two people one person show up i mean i'm pretty sure if one person show up i'll still be like okay you know i'm gonna make the best out of it but i really want to have a good a good amount of people to show up for my live because i i noticed this right here um oh gosh am i still in frame yeah i've noticed that um you know some people i'll join the live you know and they won't have a lot of people and i'm like where is all your supporters you know saying to myself like why aren't there any more supporters here than what's here already like gosh can you show some love but at the same time i might be one of them people <laughs> i might be one of those people y'all and i think that's why i'm a little afraid to go live Okay, I got to get this uh, heat gun going for a second.
just getting it warmed up. Although it's hot as crap in here. It is hot. Today is hot. My watch says it's 70 degrees, but it feels like it's 80. It does. It really does feel like it's 80 degrees. Okay. Now I'm going to take the picture. I better stand up for this. Make sure you're still in the frame. I see a little bit of fuzz, but I'm going to get him covered up in a minute. Okay. So I want to put this here. trying to get the bubbles mashed out. Okay. And while I do that, now I'm going to take all of this stuff that I got down here at the bottom that's messed up. Where's my torch? I know I'm picking the tray up and doing all kind of stuff. I know. I know. <laughs> Y'all probably saying, girl, what's wrong with you? Cover this up really good. Okay. And y'all know what? This girl, she did not know, you know, that I was doing this so i'm kind of glad she didn't know because i messed it up but at the same time you know i just sometimes you need to do something really nice for somebody okay i'm gonna put some glass chips down here and what i'm doing is just covering up attempt to cover up my mistake And I'm sure it will go along with what's on the edges. So let's see here. I don't, I'm trying to figure out, do I want just, do I want the uh, glass chips only at the part that I messed up in and going over to the side, like almost right there where his hand is? I'm trying to see, do I want it like that? or not when you mess something up you gotta and you try not to waste you you want to figure out ways that you can you know make it better make it right you don't want to always take and um, just throw away product you know what I mean you don't want to just throw away product I don't I can't afford to. And I'm really trying to put this on thick. This little, these parts up in here. I can't afford to just throw product away just because I messed up. I can't, I can't. I have to find a way that I can still use it, you know. I think I want to add, I've got this crushed um, glass, but I think I want to add some of the, um, I got some <laughs> I got some, uh, what do you call it? Freaking thing. Oh, gosh. Some diamonds. Some little acrylic diamonds. So we're going to see, can we make it shine? See these little diamonds? 
Hold on. Add a little bit there. I'm throwing them everywhere. Getting that something. We're going to get them so that they can pull up on the uh, side. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, so I'm not going to put those in. Put that up there like that. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to um, keep it going just like this. Because I'm sure that it'll still turn out fairly okay. I'm, I'm trying to think, should I just take the, uh, but no, because I have this close over there on the edge. So if I take it up just right here, what do you think? Just take it up on this one side, like a L shape, a backwards L. Yes, no, maybe. Uh, I got diamonds in my chair. <laughs> they don't show up so good. Um, I thought that they would. I think I'm going to go up along up there. So let me add some more here. But I just got to make sure that I keep it pulled away cuz I don't want to I don't want it to get in his face. Okay? So I think maybe this is it right here. I'm not going to do any more. Just going to get the um I can get the bubbles out. Yeah, I think that that works out just fine. I'm trying to see, did I put this up there evenly right here? Gosh. Okay. This part up here is just kind of drifting. I want, let's see, I want a little bit more right here. that in there nice okay so can I get this off I should have did a border around his picture, a white border. Maybe that would have looked really good. Okay. Let's get the heat gun again.
and I think that's all I want done. Just trying to grab these little, I have some little mirror chips that kind of escaped and wanted to go out and play. So. think that this is fine. But this to kind of go at an angle. So I think all of this is nice. I covered up my mess. What you think guys what you think think it'll work if it don't work like I said I'll use it as display I have to see the finishing results and see what happens from there and I've got a little bit of resin left in this cup going to take um oh gosh that went all the way over here i'm sorry oh that's because it was leaning i'm sorry gosh y'all really probably said what in the world you got going on girl okay let me take these gloves off because i'm getting ready to use that little bit of resin that's left in that cup and I'm going to take some Color Obsession Cherry. I'm going to take that and put it in, uh, you know, you know how you have extra resin left over. I'm going to take it and put it in my little um, coaster. I have a little coaster that I have. That's a cute. My glove should have been on. Nope. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not getting it all over it from everything, everywhere. Nope. Not today. And my hands are a little hot and sweaty from the other gloves. They are the worst. It is the worst getting gloves on when your hands are a little bit moist or damp. It is the worst. Whew. This is my little uh, coaster here, y'all. Just go. You see it? A little bit. It's okay. boy that is pretty you see that oh my oh my oh my are we gonna fall in love are we I'm just gonna get this little 
you let me say when you're using paste stir it up really good and since there's a lot on my spoon I mean on my uh, wooden stick I'm just gonna keep that right there and stir in Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, my goodness. Oh my, 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 my. Let's close that because we do not want nothing to get on that, fall in it or anything. Wipe my hand off. Let's see, can I get this scraped off? Oh boy. Let me just have a little bit up there too. Trying to get it off of my little wooden stick. Gosh, that is so pretty. This is getting hot, so I gotta go ahead and pour. So let's let's go ahead and put that in there. Oh my god, cherry it is. Cherry it is. Oh gosh. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all know. When I get ready to do something with this right here. It's going to be on. So we already know that my bottom layer is red. Cherry red. Okay. And I'm just trying to push it up against the sides. Spill. I'm wipe my stick off really quick. And I don't think y'all need to see like the finishing results with this because it is as it is, and that's all it's gonna be, just like that right there. So I'm gonna end this video on that note because it'll look good. I have no bubbles or anything and uh, I will take and do um, like on my next video or something I'm not gonna just make a finish making a video and say well okay um, this is done I I'm, I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna leave it as it is you all know that uh, inside of a tray gosh I'm trying to get the bubble the last little bubble out oh my gosh probably should have used a heat gun okay yeah but a tray isn't gonna make any difference okay but uh, I will you know like post on the next video you know I'll show it to you again or whatever but this is it for this one babe this is all we're not doing anything else so if you don't mind like share subscribe and um that'll be we, we're at the end <laughs> that's it so i'll see you guys later bye